All right, I'm here picking it up. There's Leisure Travel Van. It's been here for three weeks, and I'll tell you about the communication. I'll kind of go into all of that and see, but there are several things that were not fixed. So I'm going to go in right now to the service center, and I'm going to find out exactly what was covered, what wasn't, and then we'll kind of recap after that. But I do know there were some things that I thought would be covered that are definitely not. Again, we'll recap that here in a moment. But overall, I think the main things that I wanted to get fixed on warranty are, I have about probably six more months of warranty left on it. So I'm glad that I got those taken care of before that ran out because time flies these days. So you never know how long it's gonna, or you know, if you, if you wait too long, you'll miss out on your warranty. So anyway, so I'm gonna go in and see what it's all about. Hey, thanks for joining us. As you saw, I went to Vought RV where my leisure travel van has been for the last three weeks getting some of the warranty work done on it. I had a list of things that I thought was going to be covered under warranty. Uh, many were not. I'm gonna go through all of that uh, so you can see exactly what's covered under warranty and what is not. I have a 2020 Unity FX. We have had it for about a year and five months. And I'm gonna tell you that everything that I thought was included in the warranty that wasn't, it expired at one year. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go through all of that. You'll see what those items are that only have a one year warranty and what has a two year warranty. And so keep that in mind as you are, uh, you know, with your ownership of a leisure travel van, what you need to know. Now then, if this is your first time here, I would invite you to subscribe because we're always talking about leisure travel vans, RV, gear, gadgets, everything in between. Also, give me a thumbs up if you think about it. It really helps the interactions help with people discovering this channel and learning about leisure travel vans or RVs and such like that. Also, so right now, this is November of 2021. Uh, Harvest Host, which Jan and I absolutely love, especially this time of year when it's cool outside, uh, we love Harvest Hose, and Harvest Hose is offering you right now 20% off with my uh, referral link. So I will put that right there as well as in the description. So make sure you uh, you get your Harvest Hose membership. It is fantastic. Wineries, breweries, golf courses, all sorts of things. You can get it 20% uh, off right now for your annual membership. So I'd invite you to do that because Harvest Hose is the best way to RV. It's absolutely fantastic we absolutely love it so anyway um, well let's go and see exactly what was covered under warranty and what wasn't all right the very first thing that i took it in for was this drawer right here um, it had broken off of this so they've got new screws in here you can see where that screw was and not anymore and they had to put in new screws there this glide had come off and so this 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 drawer was just flopping around. So now they fixed that. The problem is now when I got back here, I noticed that this freaking one did the same thing. So now, as you can see, look at that. It's off the glide. So I'm really bummed about that. I got to take it back tomorrow. They said they could just do it really quick um, and hopefully get that taken care of. But I'm assuming all of these are going to do it at some point. So anyway, so that's a bummer. So leisure travel vans, man, get better glides or something. I don't know what the deal is, but that's terrible if these are breaking. So this one broke, now this one broke. So hopefully that one won't break, but that was covered under warranty. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, another thing that was covered uh, by warranty. Now, I don't think I have a picture of that, but right here, um, this little strip right here, this wallpaper only went up to about here. So you could see the wood that was right here as well as right here. So they did fix it, which is good. So that was taken care of. So that was covered under warranty. All right, now then, this stupid solar controller. This has lost Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, as you can see, they do put the Go Power solar controller. I'm gonna say something right off the bat. This thing is a piece of crap, piece of junk. And so I will be replacing this uh, soon. I just, ha I've always intended to do that. I just have not done it yet. Um, but yeah, so the Bluetooth finally went out. This is one of those parts that only have a one year warranty. 
And so I was out of luck about getting a new one. Uh, had I taken it in about five months earlier, I would have gotten a new one. But anyway, so if you, if you spend the money on the solar package, um, you know, just get this replaced immediately. I think that Leisure Travel Van offering this piece of junk um, as a solar controller when they, I think I spent two, 2,500 bucks for 400 watts of solar. So Leisure Travel Vans, please give us a better solar controller. Victron would be awesome. Thank you. All right, so when I was in Colorado, now it was a little cooler during the day, but as you can see, look at that. Okay, so these struts, I mean, if you put it up like that, hopefully it'll stay up, but the second it comes down just a little bit, and especially when it's cold, like today it's about 60, 62 here in Dallas, but I mean, that, that strut should hold that up. So unfortunately, these struts, again, one year, one year only for these things, and so I would try to get those replaced within your first year. Um, and see if they got a better one because these are just not great. So as you can see, that is done and this one did the same thing. So whenever you lift it up, so that should pick that up by then. I'm not real happy about this. So they would not replace them. So you get it up there, let's see. Uh, it's wanting to fall. I mean, it's staying up right now, so. Like I said, but I think if it was in the 50s, definitely in the 40s, it will definitely fall. That's my Blackstone, by the way. If you're wondering if a Blackstone 17 inch will fit, it does, it's right there. All right, so I wanna show you something else that happened. So this is the valve stem extender uh, to check your tire and to put air in. Well, this snapped off it snapped off actually, the, the whole valve uh, popped off in there. So I do think I had a flat inner, inner dually um, flat. So I took it to Discount Tire and they do not carry these, nor do O'Reilly's, nor do Mercedes. I actually stopped by my Mercedes dealer. They don't carry these because they are the Alcoa wheels. If you get the stock uh, steel wheels from Mercedes, Mercedes Benz will carry these. So. Um, but I did call Leisure Travel Van, uh, Don and Parts, and these are $16 a piece, so they're gonna send me another one. So another bummer thing that happened at Discount Tire, so you can see my lug nuts, they missed, forgot two of those, so I called. They said, yeah, we found them in the parking lot, they had been run over. So Don at Leisure Travel Van, he's also going to send me some of those. Now I would suggest, I'm gonna get a couple of extra of these from Don, $16 a piece, carry them with me because I have no idea how that snapped off, but it sure did. So you can see there's the, uh, there is the valve stem there. So anyway, get you some more of these. All right, the safe. As you can see, I'm missing the cover because I'm having to use the key now. So whenever you do this uh, code, um, which is, I'll be right back with you. So as it goes, it's got an error code there. Error code two, no clue, but it opens easily with the key. Again, not covered under warranty. So one year is all you get on the components inside of a leader travel van. So don't let the two year warranty really make you think that everything is covered. It is not. The safe, the solar controller, the struts, all of those things were absolutely not covered. Another issue that was not covered under warranty, this fan knob, it's working right now. As you can see, it's another part that Leisure Travel Van should really upgrade. So they do the cheapest, fantastic fan. Now then, this right here, I have to generally take a screwdriver whenever I wanna open this or close it and use the screwdriver to open and close because it, it, it strips really easy. It's working right now, I think the the dealer, they actually tighten that up, but it will come loose. Uh, but this was also, I wanted a whole new assembly here. They would not get it because it has a one year warranty. And I've had my leader travel van for about a year and five months now. I am going to upgrade to a max air fan with a remote control 
as well as always on rain cover, which will be much, much better. So keep that in mind. This thing is a piece of junk. Okay, oh, and they left the tape on there. But anyway, this is the propane and the um, CO, uh, the carbon monoxide um, alarm. So this thing will go off in the middle of the night for no reason uh, for the propane, not the CO, which is important. But yes, this is not a great solution. This was also not covered under warranty. Uh, they also could not get it to... Um, to reenact the, the event as well, because it only goes off at one o'clock in the morning, actually. So I don't know how many of you other LTV owners have this problem. I have read a few that yes, it, it only goes off at one o'clock in the morning and uh, even with the propane off. So I'm going to, I'm thinking about disconnecting this uh, uh, inside, leaving that there, and then just getting a external CO and propane alarm. Uh, because this one will wake you up in the middle of the night, not covered under warranty after one year. All right, and then the last thing that they did was, I'm not sure even how it worked, but Leisure Travel Van, they sent me a part um, for the refrigerator here. That's interesting, That's not that side's not opening. Interesting. What has happened here? So that opens two ways, so I don't know why that doesn't open. It did before I sent it to the dealer. So, oh, there it goes. Okay, it was just messed up. While this is cool that it opens both ways, I have heard that this door will fall off, so be careful. But anyway, so they did the warranty work. There was some kind of a, a, a plate that needed to go in the back of it. I don't know how they got in there. I don't know if they pulled this out or not, but anyway, they did the warranty work. Um, or not the warranty work, the recall work. So all of that was done correctly, I hope. So there you have it. Everything is not included in the two year warranty. So make sure that your third party components, your safe, your solar controller, your uh, struts even, those little struts holding up the outdoor bays, the, the propane alarm, those things only have a one year warranty. They're not covered under the two year warranty. The two year warranty is only for whatever leisure travel van builds, like this couch or those drawers, those type of things. So keep that in mind. Now then, I know I was being a negative Nancy on the fan and on the con solar controller, but when you spend this much money for a premium RV, then all those parts should be premium parts as well. I really feel like the solar controller should be an MPPT uh, controller that is a better controller that means it's just going to have a better uh, control of the solar it's going to be a lot more efficient as well as that fantastic fan that thing has just given me fits because every time i want to open it or close it especially at night when it's dark uh, you know i have to find a screwdriver and open it with a screwdriver that's ridiculous so but don't get me wrong i love my leisure travel van wouldn't trade it for anything in the world i do however leisure travel van if you are watching please put in you know a little bit better parts even if it costs more we'll pay a little extra right so well i'm speaking for myself anyway i don't know about you but anyway, so uh, any, the, the moral of the story is just before your first 12 months of leisure travel van ownership, go through and check all of your third party things like I wish I would have. I don't know if they broke within the first 12 months, like my safe. I don't use it all that often. I just uh, carry some cash in there in case we need it. Um, so I don't know. It could have been broke the first time I ever used it and put that cash in there and never opened it again. So, but go through and check everything. Now then, again, if you want to join Harvest Host, and I got 20% off right now of an annual membership. We love Harvest Host. You can go and RV overnight at thousands upon thousands of wineries and breweries and golf courses, things like that for free once you pay your annual membership. There is a code of ethics though and conduct that you'll want to make sure that you know, you don't ruin it for the rest of us, but it's 20% off now. That link's there and in the description down below. But that's it for this week. Be sure to subscribe, hit a thumbs up, and we will see you next time.